Coming up tonight, International Civil Aviation Head for the Asia-Pacific region holds talks with Fiji's aviation heads. New rules for stockbrokers and Prime Minister pays courtesy visit to Vanuatu's Prime Minister. Good evening, I'm Sandra Sam. The Asia-Pacific Director General for the International Civil Aviation Organization is in the country meeting and having consultations with senior officials from Fiji's civil aviation industry. Mr. Awar has also had meetings with Papua New Guinea and the Solomon Islands. Continuous threats such as terrorism in the Pacific Island remains an issue that is being constantly discussed by Pacific governments around the region. And effective measures need to be put in place because of the many island states' vulnerability, especially with the limited technological resources available in this part of the world. The Director General Asia Pacific for the International Civil Aviation Organization, Mukhtar Awar, is in the country to help Fiji address this pressing issue. Traveling around the Pacific, Mr. Awar is here to promote and empower the leadership of governments, ministers, and senior officials of the aviation industry. My intention is to apprise the leadership of the governments, the ministers, and the permanent secretary of transport that what exactly will be the most cost-effective mechanism to come together to address the oversight issue in the Pacific. However, with government's continuous pouring in of the much-needed financial backing, our aviation sector seems to be doing well above expectations, making sure that our security is never compromised. I'm very glad that uh, Fiji as a nation has come up uh, in a very uh, profound manner to address the issues involved in the civil aviation infrastructure and they are building up their potential to bring more and more transparency and the real benefit uh, of the uh, a very efficient and uh, most economical infrastructure, civil aviation infrastructure, to meet the public demand. Attorney General and Minister for Civil Aviation Ayah Sayed Kayum says that challenges and threats will continue to test our laws like any other country. Fiji too is not immune from terrorist threats. Of course the regional director can talk about this also, but in respect of the infrastructure that's available in some of the Pacific Island countries, um, you know, apart from the, uh, the fact that the institution of capital investment in many of these areas, but also the building up of capacities. You know, there are numerous, uh, for example, um, standards that need to be adhered to, whether it's adherence to regulations in respect of containing terrorism or whether it's to do with safety on runways, whether it's to do with air traffic maintenance and management and control and the operation side of things. There's a, there is a dearth of personnel in that area and how best we at regional level can work with each other to be able to mitigate some of those challenges that we have. Mainly the issues uh, from my standpoint are that the, the organizations of civil aviation in the Pacific communities are very small. And it's not only small <coughs> because of the overall size of the governments, but in, in view of the very small civil aviation activity, the level of civil aviation activity. One of the areas that needs upgrading and empowerment in the training of our personnel two of world-class standard, something that everyone needs to play a part in. The Fiji Revenue and Customs Authority is now looking at rules governing the roles of custom brokers in the country. Acting Prime Minister and Attorney General Aya Syed Kayum made this statement during the 8th National AGM 2012 at the Pearl Resort in Pacific Harbour. Regulatory industries or departments will need to be streamlined. Acting Prime Minister Ayaz Said Kayum had this to say to the various offices and companies at the 8th National AGM 2012 of the Custom Brokers and Forwarders Council of Fiji. He says, with Fiji being the hub of the Pacific and with the continuous change in the global market, Fiji at the moment is playing catch-up. According to the Attorney General, regulatory agencies need to understand how business is done and the connectivity of the impact a decision they make has on the economy. It requires funds, it requires reallocation of resources. But these are the sorts of things or areas in which we are playing catch up. I mean, earlier on, the, uh, the other system that the customs officer was talking about in respect of, you know, can you please facilitate the IT provision? I mean, these sorts of things should have been done years ago. 
So I hope you can uh, bear with us because there are lots of things to be done. There are many things to be done. Uh, FERCA, of course, is going through a revision, for example, of the tax laws. They want to simplify it. They want to remove the uh, ambiguities that exist, which is open to interpretation. We all like to have clear-cut rules and regulations. Said Kayum says that it is the stockbrokers who are the face of Fiji, as they are the ones that have direct contact with the various exporters and importers, and therefore a lot needs to be done to address their problems. Prime Minister Vorenge Bainimarama has called on member countries of the Melanesian Spearhead Group to share success stories on issues of common interests that can help boost and facilitate trade amongst the member countries. PM Bainimarama, who is currently visiting the MSG Secretariat in his capacity as chairman of the MSG, also paid a courtesy call to the Prime Minister of Vanuatu, Sato Kilman, at his office today. PM Bainimarama also took time to explain the constitution consultation process, which he had announced on Friday last week. Both heads of government also discussed issues of common bilateral interest. This is Prime Minister Bainimarama's first official visit to the MSG Secretariat, indicating government's strong solidarity and support to the MSG. Coming up after the break, Fiji Aviation Sector Best in the Pacific, Health Ministry warns supermarkets to check all food items and need for improved awareness on Fiji's land use patterns.